Hi, this is Kendra filling in for Alex, and you're watching Truby TV. I'm going to be talking about the latest episode of True Blood. Everything is broken, so this is your official spoiler alert. So this episode, Everything is Broken, was a pretty crazy episode. There's a lot going on, a lot of plot developments, but there were four pretty giant highlights in the episode that I'm going to run down for you. So first of all, we had Bill waking up in the middle of his nice coffin sleep and going into Sookie's uh, magical world. Sookie needs to know what she is so that she can protect herself. Please, what in God's name are you? The woman there thought that, that meant he killed Sookie, but as of course we know, she's fine, but this also meant that Bill supposedly found out what Sookie is. Sookie, I know what you are. And of course we don't get to know that quite yet. And next we had the big exciting return of Franklin and then his actual demise, which I was pretty excited about. I am thrilled they did not drag this on any longer. Uh, it was good enough just to know, have that exciting moment of Franklin appearing again, freaking out Tara, and then thinking we were not gonna get rid of him and being annoyed by that, and then bam, Jason kills him. I'm a vampire. You could empty every round in me, and I'll heal. <laughs> now if I got a wooden bullet, Another big highlight of the episode was pretty much everything happening with Eric. So he's got a few things going on, and, but at one of the exciting parts near the end of the episode, we find out that the whole council giving, uh, putting Eric on trial doesn't even want to deal with this whole problem, doesn't want to deal with him killing the magistrate, doesn't want to deal with him and Russell. So they said, take it off the books, get your revenge, do whatever you want. We're not going to help you, but we're gonna, not going to notice if Russell gets killed. Missing royals, dead magisters. It's a political tar baby no one wants to touch. Russell will not stop killing. What if the human public learns of it? That's why you are going to take care of it. Quietly, discreetly, and most important of all, completely off the books. So we got to see how what Eric does about this, which is pretty exciting. And speaking of Russell, he had a few things going on himself. So we started out with him uh, running back to see Talbot's remains, and I thought it was gross enough that he was, you know, holding Talbot's guts. But then he goes and puts them in a jar, and he is on a serious warpath. Oh, they will suffer for their sins, my beloved. I swear to you, they will. Not just to find Eric, but just to prove to humans that, you know, he's, he's serious. And we found this out when he just showed up on the news at the very end of the episode, which pretty much doesn't make me care about anything else that happened in the episode, as cool as it was, because he ripped out that guy's spine and then just sat there holding it while he told us that the Vampire Rights Amendment, he's saying that we're going to kill humans, we don't want peace with you. And he's pretending to be the face of all vampires here. And he's going to kill you and your kids. You are not our equals. We will eat you after we eat your children. Now time for the weather. Tiffany? So we'll see uh, what, what goes on with that. That's a pretty enormous development. So there are only three episodes left of True Blood this season, which leaves, I feel like, a lot of ends that have not gotten wrapped up, and I don't know how many of them will or how many will carry on to next season, but a few of my big questions are what, what's going to happen with Arlene's baby now that this episode, we got it pretty confirmed that it's actually Renee's, and who knows if she's going to keep it. Next up, with uh, whatever Sookie is, it seems like this is more special than just mind reading. Everyone's after her, so of course we're all dying to know what she really is, if her cousin's uh, kid is exactly like her and what that's going to mean. And since there, weren't any, there wasn't any really werewolf action at all in this episode, I'm very curious where that storyline is going to go, but I'm really hoping there'll be some sort of big, um, exciting conclusion of some sort in the werewolf uh, storyline for this season. So that's it for this week. Uh, check out our pages for True Blood and True BTV on Sidereel and stay tuned for the promo of next week's episode. Russell wants her. Give her to him to save your own skin. You're too busy signing wills instead of using her. 
Where is she? You promised me you'd look after her. You know you can't trust Bill. If I meet the true death, but having at least kissed you, that would be my biggest regret. This baby ain't yours. Panthers, go back to hell! Where's rest? What is the truth for once? Why don't you tell Suki the truth? Oh! <laughs>